All right, and this uh, next short video is uh, about Edmodo. And Edmodo is a social network that is designed to be safe uh, for students and for teachers. As you can see, there's also a component for parents to sign up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and log in so you can see what Edmodo looks like. And then I'm going to talk about how we'll use it a little bit in class uh, as a communication device, but also there's some great resources on here for students. And also, as I said, parents can sign up for Edmodo accounts uh, and ask to be a part of the uh, Edmodo class, which means they can kind of see what their students are seeing on a daily basis uh, that way keep up with reminders or important assignments it's not that uh, there's not a great difference between Edmodo uh, and Skyward on the surface but deep down Edmodo does some things that Skyward does not do and uh, generally speaking uh, students tend to enjoy using Edmodo uh, more than Skyward so let's go ahead and dig a little bit into Edmodo all right, and as you can see, um, Edmodo looks a lot like Facebook. Um, now, parents, please uh, don't compare it to Facebook. The reason it looks a lot like Facebook is because uh, one of the co-creators of Facebook made Edmodo with the design and the intent to have a safe social network that students and teachers could work on. Uh, students, you can only communicate directly with the teacher. There is no uh, communication back and forth with other students um, and as we teach digital citizenship you'll learn some of the uh, appropriate ways to communicate not only on Edmodo but other social media platforms if you use those but why I like Edmodo is for example I could take the link from our uh, Google Doc that we looked at earlier and I could come here to the Google Doc and I could get this link it's already nice and highlighted for me. I can simply copy it, come back to my Edmodo page, and I can drop it right here as a link, or even easier than that, um, we can name or type information in here for students to see, and then I can add this link right here. And it's going to uh, put that Google Doc in for me. You can see it just did. Now it's attached. And I could come in and put in first period, second period, uh, depending upon which class I want to do the activity of the Egyptians and the Romans. This allows students to have either Skyward or Edmodo as a place they can access some of these online activities, online assignments. Why do I like having it here? Because if a student um, comes home, goes home and we have a homework assignment or a video link either on Skyward or Edmodo, if they have a question about the video from the flipped lesson, they can post their question here on Edmodo and then everybody can see that question. Uh, I personally have uh, the Edmodo app on my phone and often at home I'll get a question maybe about a topic and I can quickly go on as the teacher and answer a question at night uh, and then all students are able to see that response. Um, so parents, I'll, I'll be giving a little bit more information about Edmodo. I just wanted to use this as kind of a walkthrough of how and why. Uh, Edmodo also allows us or allows the teacher to create quizzes. Uh, so I will be um, doing that as well and when I create a quiz uh, I'll be able to assign it to students to take and it's a great way to check and see you know how well um, uh, they've done if a student does poorly on the quiz I, I can reset that quiz for a student individually and they can get another chance to make up a few more points or gain some more points uh, the second time around and the other great thing is Often quizzes are designed to help prepare as we get closer and closer to a test. The quizzes will stay on Edmodo, so as students are studying for a test, they can go back and refresh themselves over some of the quiz questions in order to prep themselves for the test. Uh, other great resources along Edmodo, uh, there's assignments that can be created uh, along Edmodo. There's lots of collaboration that can happen. And there's also uh, groups um, that I can uh, uh, 
uh, help students with and on their own accounts there are some apps that require payment we won't use any of those in class or nor will students be expected to buy any apps on Edmodo but there are some games uh, and uh, different resources that are free on Edmodo and uh, students can uh, seek those out and uh, research these and again these are all uh, not just for social studies but for a variety of different uh, classes and these were all designed with the intent of a safe social media environment for students so we will spend some time going over Edmodo and how to use Edmodo I just want to uh, give this video as kind of a first of uh, what Edmodo is